Hey guys, it's been a while and today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit more of a serious video. This is a topic which um, a lot of people uh, want my opinion on and it's something that I want to talk about for the longest of time for the longest of time and I've just been waiting for the right opportunity until when I could uh, speak up and give my thoughts and my opinion about the entire thing. What we're going to be talking about today is the entire Mazar cheating situation which happened in a uh, small gone Premier League which I was a direct uh, direct consequence of I basically took all the impact most of the impact from whatever hap uh, took pl uh, took place in this entire ordeal so I'm not gonna go over the post you guys can probably read it if you want uh, it's basically an administrative decisions in SPL but basically the br briefly Mazar and I had M Mazar played Ubers in SPL and he has been accused of using a bot that would obtain his opponent's teams prior to their games and then build counter teams to beat them during their during their game and um, I'm gonna speak only for myself and I can definitely confirm and um, guarantee that this did, in fact did take place uh, during my games versus Mazar and uh, um, I'm gonna show you the tiebreak game I'm not gonna go through all three games but the tiebreak game was basically where like this was the most obvious game the other games you would have to be a pretty good player in ubers to know if it was a c team or not but in this game like honestly this was the the pinnacle this was the most important game of the tournament it was the last game of the tie break the winner take all match and he brought this team which was basically a 100 percent counter team with like incredible matchup when when i when i came to this game and i saw mazar's team i pretty much knew that i had 100 percent lost this game and i it was a feeling of helplessness that I knew that I would lose to the same person for the third time. Um, I would end up losing the entire tournament for my for my team. I would let my team down, and it was probably one of the worst feelings you could have ever. It's true that this is just Pokemon. It's just a game and whatnot. But it's just like, in hindsight, it was really painful. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, like how this game went down. Uh, I was like not looking forward to play this game. It was a really long season for me. Before this game, my record was like four seven, so it was my de my debut SPL. I was not having a good season at all. Every game I used to play, I used to get really bad matchups, and I was just not enjoying myself. And I really didn't want to play anymore. And I remember for the tiebreak game as well, I insisted that I would be subbed out. I I basically put all the options out, but my team my team the scooters still assured their confidence in me, and I went for the game because I wasn't gonna let my team down. I was gonna at least give my best shot before. The tournament gets over because there was no way I was gonna let my team down. And keep in mind, I knew not only before this game, but before the, all the games before that my teams were at least leaked, or my team, my Mazar had my teams, and another person as well has my te had my teams. But in my situation, I really didn't know who to believe, who to trust. I I, I couldn't imagine in my like wildest dreams that Mazar made a bot. Uh, actually, Mazar didn't make the bot, but someone else made a bot to cheat. In a Pokemon tournament, like I couldn't imagine in my wildest dreams. So there was no way I was gonna predict that, and I didn't know what to do. So I didn't know that me testing games on Showdown would actually cause my teams to be leaked, and I couldn't do anything. Like in hindsight, I, I couldn't change anything. In, in in a game as important as this, I was definitely gonna test my games. I was gonna play against my teammates and see how good my team is because I I didn't want to go without preparation. So I just didn't know what what I could do, and that's why I tested a few times and Mazar had my team. So yeah, I was completely helpless. I didn't know I wasn't having a good tournament, and when I entered this game, I, I immediately knew that there was no hope, almost zero hope for me to win the game. And that feeling of helplessness is probably one of the, the worst feelings you could have. Like, it's true that this is just a game, it's just Pokemon, but on, on like a psycholo psychological level, honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't benefit you at all. Um, I'm just going to go over the game really quick, um, uh, just so you guys can see. I went to Deoxys here. I try to click. I try to bluff Skill Swap, but he immediately clicked Sableye because he knew I didn't have Skill Swap. He knows all. My, he knows my sets. And Mazar, being the dumbass he is, like he made some really stupid plays this game. He almost tried to throw the game as well. Um, right over here, when I click uh, SD and, and Rock Polish, he goes to Ho Ho instead of Arsh's ground. Like, like idiots like him basically even gave some sort of speculation as to why my team would be leaked. If you were a normal spectator and you saw this kind of match, you would just think like, oh, Gunner's a shit player. But people who actually had some sort of intellect and knew the tier, they knew that this was like 
this was just not possible in any scenario that you would have such a great matchup in the tiebreak of a tournament. So I've been playing Ubers for a really long time and I know that I'm definitely not that bad of a player that I would get this unbreakable team every single time I went into a game. So I knew that there's something going on and there's something fishy and I've had really good records in the past so I knew there was something wrong. But but that's fine. Anyway, like I was fire punch precipice blades and I'm going to I'm going to post a picture over here where uh, basically Mazar even revealed that he he knew that I was fire punch P blades. I don't know how he knew that. He's a genius, I guess. But like I had all of this I don't know, I'm just like, you can just see that Groudon runs Stone Edge a lot in this tier, but he still knew that I was Fire Punch. I mean, there's not much to say, I mean, I knew this for so many months, I, I kept it within me, I didn't want to say anything, because I knew that if I open my mouth and, and, I, and I act like a victim, everyone on Smogon is just going to call me, like, a loser, a crybaby, and, like, they would just keep uh, gassing Mazara, because everyone thought Mazara was the greatest Ubers player ever, and I'm just terrible, which is fine, I mean, in the end, it really wasn't about me, but I'm just going to finish the game that much. I'll move on to the next um, topic. But yeah, I, I basically lost. That's the gist of it. And we ended up losing the tournament. So yeah, I'm just going to go over some of my thoughts about how the entire, th like, my entire journey through these seven months, I guess. Like, I mean, I, I play Pokemon because I enjoy the game. Usually, I play tournaments because I'm a com com competitive person. And I play uh, Pokemon because I enjoy the game. But after this Mazar thing, um, I completely lost interest for official tournaments. I lost interest to play Ubers, which was my main tier at that point. I basically lost all motivation to compete and be the person I, I used to gloat about being. Because my whole persona was, um, I want to be the best and I, I, I strive to be the best. I, I don't If I lose a game, I lose a game. But I, I want to do my best and play the best I can to win every game I play. But... I lost all my confidence, my motivation, and everything because every time I went to do a game, I, I got these sort of matchups. And at that point, I knew my team knew that this was happening, but we didn't have any evidence. We couldn't prove what was happening. This was seven months ago, and for seven months, I had to just like to keep thinking and contemplating what happened, what went wrong, what 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 made it so that I got humiliated this bad. I just didn't have answers for it, and all of those months of just people. Taking, taking shits on me, calling me out, whatever, that's fine. But in the end, my reputation aside doesn't matter to me that much. My entire team, the Scooters, we were deprived of our, not only our trophy, our, our, our like the fact that we won SPL, but all these players who put in so much hard work, Ojama, Philip, uh, Crystal, Obi, there's so many players, every single player on Scooters, John, CBB, everyone. We put in so much hard work to win this tournament. We were a great team, great side, great synergy. Everyone was so close to each other. And after all of that, we were deprived of the trophy by some cheating piece of shit. Um, and this is not to say that just because um, Mazar got banned and everything, his wins are taken away, that we should get a trophy. I, um, personally, I'm kind of neutral. I don't really have an opinion, but I know a lot of people want Scooters to get a trophy because it does make sense. It's a team tournament. If you remove Mazar's wins against in in this in this series itself against me, we win the turn. We we win the series automatically. There's no need for a tiebreak, and then I win the tiebreak again. So, I mean, um, ma like I guess mathematically you could say that Scooters winning. If if Mazar got disqualified, Scooters would win the tournament. Yeah, but then again, if you remove all of Mazar's win, it, it would definitely change the whole playoff bracket itself. I'm, I'm pretty sure Tigers wouldn't qualify in the first place. So the whole reason Tigers got this far was because of Mazar and all of his wins. He was like 7-0 in the tournament. But trophy or no trophy, all of my, my, my brothers on scooters, we were basically, off, after all of our efforts, we had, uh, like, I let them down by this game. This wasn't even the game, honestly. It was just, it was a one-sided performance, and there was nothing I could do. From as soon as I saw the team, I knew that there was nothing in my hands I could do to possibly win this game, unless I could hack him or he chokes. And I'm obviously I don't have I don't have proof of this, but let's be honest, Mazar was getting ghosted as well. The same person who made the bot uh, also ghosted Mazar. I'm not gonna reveal, reveal the name because I don't think this is the right platform for that. Um, I don't have any proof that he got ghosted, but it, it, there's no way you're gonna do this much to cheat. And then you're not going to complete the whole process by not getting ghosted as well. Mazar got banned for another, another small guy related ghosting scandal recently as well. So this guy basically played every single game of his in call. And he did whatever he could to win. Because apparently for some people, having a trophy and um, basically having some pixels on Smogon means so much as you could uh, as to cheat 
so many people at the same time. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous that you would post something like this when you know that you cheated and you and you know that you've done all of this and you, and you would say something like this and and gloat about your achievements. It's 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 really really sad that you would go to these limits to cheat in a game that doesn't give you money that all it gives you is fame people people basically praising you calling you a goat um hyping you up that, just for that for those compliments and your your 5 seconds of fame you would cheat that much you would, you would, you would do all of this you would go to these these depths i mean the guy who programmed this robot thing whatever the the, the bot artificial intelligence whatever it's called i don't really know i don't give a shit but that person definitely has some sort of talent in something at least. Like, you have to be a really smart intellectual person to do something like that. But you would use that talent to cheat in a Pokemon game. Like, I'm trying to analyze this from a psychological level. You've got to understand that people spend time and, like, efforts, like, so much time to just to cheat in a game. I mean, it, it, this game doesn't even have that much value, bro. Like, there are, like, 10,000 people playing this game. And, and you would do that much to cheat. Which has like no value outside of this this website. I mean, it's true that Pokemon is an online game and whatnot, but you've got to understand like these people would actually spend hours of their real life to do something like this. Like, what kind of person? What? How, how do you sleep at night? How do you look at how, look at yourself in the mirror and like and, and still wake up in the morning being proud of yourself? That's that's incredible, honestly. For a few months of fame, Mazar and the rest of his goons did so much. To achieve some fame and look good in the eyes of some other Pokemon players. That is absolutely sad. And th honestly, th this for me is m more than this my justice and whatever shit happened against me and my team. I'm looking at this from a real life standpoint. Like honestly, I, I don't care that much about this game anymore. But during those days, I really cared about my team and I, I didn't want to let them down. And letting them down constantly again and again and again. And when, when there was nothing in my hands and in my power, it really sucked. But keeping that aside... Like, I play this game because I enjoy it, um, I, I like spending time on it, I, I have friends on here, but like, when this kind of shit happens to you, it completely kills your vibe and your motivation, just because someone is so low in their life that they would do something so cheap in an online game just for some recognition, it's really sad. But, in the end, I don't think Smogon as a whole should be blamed for this, um, I've seen a lot of people who said that Smogon is tournaments are a joke. People is cheat. Listen, it's 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 your decision, and it's you as a person, and how you how you think of yourself, and how you treat yourself, and how you behave yourself, to decide if you want to cheat or not. It's in your hands. I don't think Smogon is to blame at all for this. Smogon's done a lot. It gives you a lot of platforms to play Pokemon on a competitive level, which is cool. But I don't think Smogon in general should be blamed. There's so many great players on the site who've played, who play, who 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 spend time scouting, building teams, you know, working hard actually to, to play well and be and achieve something on their own. So I don't think you should we should like condemn an entire player base just because of the actions of some low life scums like this guy and everyone else who got banned. I don't think you should bring down the name. I think Smogon still uh, is still a great place. There's still a lot of nice people, still a lot of great players who who who, who would never cheat. And I don't think you should, as as a, in a gen, in a general way, in a general term, bring down um, the entire website's name because in the end, you will always have some fools breaking the rules just for some fame. And right now, it's Mazar. In the future, it'll be someone else. You always have these kind of situations coming up. So that's all I'm saying. And and honestly, even if someone isn't doing well in the tournament or just having a bad season in general, I don't think we as a community should um call them names or try to bring them down because we're playing this game for fun i mean it's a tournament sure people don't have good tournaments whatever i don't think people should be bullied over that because i know in my seven months i could i, I just couldn't be the same person i was because every time i would do anything good as well people would just be like oh you're a mazar's bitch you went for it in spl why did, why should i care about what you say so it was a rough it was a really rough time and i couldn't enjoy myself on the side so I'm just saying, even if cheating, no cheating, even if someone doesn't have a good tournament, like, don't be dicks to them, man. I, I, like, just, just accept it. Not, not everyone's gonna be the greatest player ever. Someone's gonna have a bad tournament. If you have so many people joining and playing a team tournament, someone's gonna have a bad season. So, like, just accept it, dude. It's fine. Sometimes people don't have a good season. Fine, no big deal. But why? Don't, don't bully them over it, and don't try to act like the bigger person just because you have a better record than someone else. Like, you're just being a cheap piece of shit. 
So that's all I have to say, honestly. That's like a P PSA, I guess. But the last thing I want to talk about in this video is um, what happened in week nine of Small Gun Premier League. And this is also a very um, juicy topic. With Mazar down, a lot of people have been calling out this specific user, the Trap God, about what happened in our SPL game. And I'm just going to go over it and I'm just going to give my thoughts. So the Trap God and I were were always like kind of chill before our game in SPL. But realistically, we we played two times before the, our, our, our um, SPL game. And I'd beaten him both, both times, 2-0, with ease, no problem at all. So I was basically 4-0 versus this guy before we played for SPL. And as you can imagine, when someone's 0-4 versus another player, you would do whatever you can to win and sort of like just give some relevance to your name. And that is what my friend here tried to do. Um, even until this point, I wasn't having a great season, but I didn't really care. And this game, by the way, did not even matter. We played the last game in the entire series, so we were winning 9-2, and this game really didn't have any significance to it. But obviously, you're going to do whatever you can to look like the better person and the bigger player. So, um, before I go into the game, I'm just going to show you what he posted. Yep, S zero significance. At this point, we were 9-2, but uh, he beat me, and then he tried to, like, you know, try to look cool for the people. Basically, another Mazar part, too. Um, so, this was a matchup. I brought webs, and he had some sort of on like, honestly, a pretty shitty team. But... Until this point, I'd basically use a lot of uh, bulky teams, not really like any start, uh, any lead offense. Only this team, I guess, but that isn't even like that wasn't even a really good team at all. And I didn't really use any lead offense whatsoever because I was just not feeling it until this point. But I brought uh, this team, Webs. Like nobody would ever expect this from me, at least. So quickly going by the game, I lead Smeargle, He leads Trakion, and my guy has double kick. The one set in the entire game, um, not much to say honestly. Like you can just you can just think about what double kick does competitively. I'll just post a calc of what it does against Excredilin versus Cloister, and honestly, it's really pathetic damage. So him getting Smirgle out of the way means I cannot get a webs, and that means that my team is already at a disadvantage. And that's fine, that's fine, whatever, whatever. And I basically get completely obliterated. Um, there's not much I can do and I'm not able to like come out. I'm not able to do anything But we're just gonna go through this right now My wealth house set was EV specifically um, As a backup because this this set is uh, Defensive, but it's got like a lot of speed on it a lot of speed on it more than normal to outspeed Geomancy Xerneas because I knew that if I don't get webs I have to be able to have some sort of like counterplay versus Xerneas, but he definitely he had more speed than me. Now, I'm not gonna go into the depths and mathematics of it, but I definitely would outspeed any Xerneas unless you would specifically try to speed creep me. So he went, he he outsped me, and I couldn't get my taunt off before. So he has a geomancy up, and now you guys are just gonna see he completely destroyed me. I said GG because I lost, but you guys are gonna see Trap God being the dumbass he is. He reveals sub as well. So let me just go through his set. Right, geomancy substitute. Moonblast, HP Ground, and look at my team. If you get Rocks up and you set up Geomancy at any point in the game, you 100% win with that set. So, like, I don't, I don't know if you have to be a genius or not to tell, but there's definitely something fishy going on here. And, like, to be honest, more than Mazar, I, I despise this guy because this, these guys, this is, this is one of those people you know, who acts so tough and so cool about his minor achievements like beating me. He has to act like the biggest piece of shit on the planet and always bring it up and like try to like try to look cool for the people when this is the game he used. I remember when I lost the game, like I'm I'm one of those people who 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 doesn't like to make excuses and everything because if you make excuses, you're just gonna be prone to people talking shit about you and basically calling you a bitch for making excuses. So I lost the game. I just told my team that there's something fishy going on over there and they knew as well, but I didn't say anything publicly. But as soon as things went outside and people started like um calling him out for somewhat like having my team it became the biggest joke ever that oh gunner is just being a bitch because he because he got destroyed and like people are so naive they believe whatever they see they thought that trap card is the greatest player of all time he had trouble kick track you know, like, honestly it was just it was just a mess and the only thing that bothers me right now is there is no proper evidence 
for me or for anyone to get this guy um, ethered as well as along with Mazar because even though this game is ridiculous on so many different levels, I do not have any concrete proof that he used the bot as well. But the guy who made the bot is not only not only helped Mazar but basically is this guy's best friend. So I mean, if you can put the cards together, I guess sometimes you won't you won't have evidence but if you open your eyes and look closely you have something like this and it's up to you and what what you guys believe but honestly if you have any sort of sense and you can think for yourself you should know that this game was also part of the whole Mazar thing and hopefully maybe one day um, this guy will also get caught and his, all of his cheating scandals will be revealed but if not, it is what it is. Um, I think the public should be able to decide on your, on their own on who's right and who's wrong. So regardless, I, I'd just like to end this video right now. And um, I'm just glad. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful that my, my team, Scooters, and the tournament directors spent all the time and um, finally took the right decision and got Mazar banned. Um, I'm grateful for the justice that my team and I have received. And I'm glad that uh, the biggest part of this entire situation is over. Mazar being banned is great. Uh, even though there's still one person on the loose, uh, eventually, hopefully, justice will hit him as well. But I'm just very, very glad everything's over. And uh, all of those months of horrible feeling I had, at least I, I, can, I, I can forget that now. And I can just move on. And I'm just glad everything's come to an end. So... Thanks once again to everyone who made this possible and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back for another tournament one day and I'll be playing competitively without any fear of something like this happening again, hopefully one day. But until then, I'll see you guys. Peace.